I was ready to retire and then go do my little art movies. Yeah. And but I'd already started Star Wars by this time because it I'd started Star Wars about six months before Graffiti came out. Uh, so I. Uh, the truth of it is, when I finished graffiti, I was dead broke and I was in debt, and I really had to get another job very, very quickly. So I got the job to do Star Wars. And by the time graffiti came out, it was a big success, and I had enough money to retire and say, okay, now I got my little nest egg, and I'm going to go off and hide in the corner. I was sort of committed to Star Wars, and I said, well, I will. I, I came to a very crucial decision around December of '73 of saying, am I going to quit? Just I mean, I've been working on this script for a year. It was just going nowhere. I was having terrible problems with it. Do I quit or do I go ahead? And I made the decision then to go ahead because, uh, one, I figured it would be a challenge to do a large movie, you know, to, to actually have done a regular commercial film, not a little 28-day street movie, but a real movie in a studio, and had that experience. Because it was totally, you know, something I never thought, dreamed I would do. So I said, I will do this because it will be a good experience for me, and I will have had experience making a real movie the way people really make movies. Uh, and I'd sort of fallen in love with Star Wars by that time, and I couldn't get it, I couldn't let go of it. And the decision was, if I'm going to make a big, expensive movie, and I'm going to make, like, my last movie, this will be my last movie, I'd like it to be a kid's movie. I want to make you know, the ultimate kids movie.